Welcome back everyone. This week uh, we're gonna be uh, gonna build a tillering tree. Uh, I'm gonna try my hand at uh, finish another bow and so that this uh, doesn't happen to it. Um, I'm gonna finish off the choke cherry bow. Uh, there's a, a couple problems with it. It uh, started when it was green so it had already started to curve a little bit so that'll uh, that's going to cause us a little bit of an issue, um, but not too much. Um, a problem that I only realized while building the uh, the one that broke there is that I shrunk the wood down right away. The width, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, it will probably take away some of the... the the power behind the bow um, but I'm just gonna use uh, some of these here cheap fiberglass arrows to test it so um, it doesn't need to have a, a pull strength of, of too too high um, in the near future we're gonna cast some arrowheads and fire off the uh, the big ones that we made um, there's not much left to this bow to finish it, but, uh, we're going to build a tillering, a tillering stick and then we're going to finish it off. Um, maybe give it a nice stain or, uh, or garnish. Um, the choke cherry wood is actually really nice as you can see it's, it's got a, uh, it's got its own, um, kind of heart heartwood in the middle that's a different color it's a bit darker which will uh, probably give it a nice a nice texture a nice finish um but uh but yeah let's let's get started on a tillering stick and then uh we'll finish off the bow
Do a couple practice shots with it before we uh, stain it, just to make sure it shoots all right. I'm not too far away. Uh, only about, I don't know, 15 feet or so. So I should not miss, but I'm not a marksman, so we'll see what happens. I'm almost missed. So the bow is finished, uh, I test fired it, um, it ke it's keeping its curve a little bit which it shouldn't be doing but that's okay. It started off as green wood so um, it's going to have some flaws, uh, it fires good though and it's uh, it'll be good to, to test uh, test out different arrowheads on the, uh, the homemade arrows that I made. Um, we're going to, I wasn't sure. If I was going to coat it with stain and a varnish. Um, but then I came across this linseed oil. Uh, with a quick research. Nobody said I couldn't use it. So uh, we're going to see how that turns out. Uh, if it messes the bow right up, that's, that's fine. I'm just going to apply with a rag. Um, I could use a paintbrush, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it turns out with the rag. The bow turned out really well. Um, really happy with it. Uh, a few things that I may change before um, we cast some arrows and uh, cast the arrowheads and uh, test fire them. Uh, I may put another coat of lime seed on it. I don't really know how that how it works. If you need more than one coat, I've never used it before. And I may make a a little bit shorter of a bowstring. Um, that one was just something I threw together for tillering. It's a little bit long. Uh, it doesn't quite put enough uh, bend on the limbs. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm pleasantly happy with it. The video is a little bit late, but uh, hope you tune into the next one. Thanks for watching.